Hey everyone, this is your state representative Brian Shoup. We are just off of Lakeview Avenue in Milford to look at the new construction site of the what will become the Milford Middle School. Today we're going to talk about HB 296, which is a bill that can save 15 to 20 percent on construction costs, just like you see behind me, not only on school construction here in Milford, but across the state of Delaware. Prevailing wage is a wage scale that the state of Delaware uses for all of its construction, including school construction. The way that the, the state goes about finding this formula is, is flawed, uh, and it raises uh, the amount of money for construction and ultimately what the taxpayer is paying for these construction costs, up to 15 to 20 percent on every single job. I found this out when I was the mayor of Milford and we repaved Airport Road. We had chosen the company Diamond Materials. We had scoped out exactly what we wanted the work to be done. And our senators and representatives gave us some uh, minimal money from the state of uh, Delaware to put into this project. The state turned around and told us that Airport Road would cost $300,000 more, which was 20% more than the project originally cost, just because we had state money. Now we were using the same construction company, we had already signed the contracts, we had already bid out exactly what was going on. So no work had changed, but because we had received some state funding for it, it raised the price by $300,000 to pave a single road. The city of Milford since then has declined state funding for uh, the police station that was just uh, created and other municipal projects as well because they do not want to pay that added 15 to 20% on top of a budget just to meet the prevailing wage standards when they can go to the free market and get the same exact project by the same exact contractors for a lot less uh, of taxpayer money. This bill allows for school district officials to choose how they bid out contracts. Do they want to use free, the free market system like every private business or do they want to use this formula that historically has shown an increase in, in taxpayer money to get the same job done. Even if you're not having a school built in your particular district, school construction impacts you because it's a mixture between state and local funding. And in the last year alone, we saw just through inflation, $260 million increase in schools that were already under construction had to come back to bond bill and ask for that much money. So let's allow our school districts to have more flexibility with their own spending, be able to save money on school construction just through rewriting the code and allow them to be able to spend that money in the classroom where it's really needed.